Greetings, fellow interlopers. It's me, Taylor. And today we're talking about the naming conventions of the different things that make up a fighter. Hence, the Whiskey Barrel Gaming Parts Guide, Fighter Edition. This is going to be Volume 1. This will be followed up with other parts guides for haulers, shuttles, solars, explorers, living ships, as well as exotics. So without further ado, let's get into it. This guide will be broken down into body styles, wing styles, as well as thruster styles. So on each section, just focus on whatever's featured at that time. Right out of the gate, we're looking at everybody's favorite, the long nose, or some call it the hot rod, which makes sense. It kind of has that top fuel look with the piping. Next up, I should probably have more of these, is the barrel. Next up we have the Viper, which has a very cool angled nose. Next up we have the Jet. You'll see these in a lot of different configurations. And we have the Snow Speeder, or some call it the Poly. I'm not exactly sure where that one comes from, but I've generally just called them Snow Speeders or Speeders. Next up is the one at the heart of many a healthy debate, the Needle Nose. I prefer this over the long nose, what can I say? And the beloved Rasa fighter. Everybody starts the game with the Rasa. And we have one you probably don't see a lot of and maybe even get it confused with the snow speeder, but it's much shorter, hence the name Stubby. And here's one for the Star Wars fans out there, the beloved Alpha Fighter. Has a very similar look to something. Yeah. So now we're going to go ahead and move on to wings, and we're starting off with Star Screams. This just happens to be a little different because they're different colors, that's usually not a thing. But I do like how they're breaking up the schemes. These babies are called the Star Jumpers. I really like those inner boosters. And here we have Quasar Wings. Definitely takes on a different look with that dorsal fin, which sometimes isn't there. Obviously, this is the Halo. I've never actually talked to anybody whose favorite wing was the Halo, but maybe they're out there somewhere. Ah, the Mecha 3. I would love to see the mecha without a dorsal fin, personally. I think it'd look really cool. But of course, it's always going to have that dorsal. Add a couple more and you've got your mecha 5. And maybe somebody at Hello Games was just drinking too much. Hell, we'll just throw two more on and make a mecha 7. Now I'm kind of disappointed there wasn't a 9. Now we have the Goal Wings, and these have the Serenity Boosters on the inside, which are standard issue for these wings. And the old classic Vector Wings. For those who have that golden vector, you know these wings well. 
Also with the extra thrusters on the inside. And here we have a heavy with shock waves. The shock waves are just those little additions on the ends there, angling downward. And another questionable style decision is the Vulture, also with Serenity Boosters. And one of my favorites, and I think probably yours as well, is the tie. Again, these have the Serenity Boosters there on the inside, but they can also come on other wing configurations. Here, they're actually attached to the droid body. When I first started playing the game, I didn't understand what people meant by the droid wings. Why, why call them droid? And then I saw that little guy spinning around and, well, it was a real light bulb moment. And here we have the E-Wing, and it's accompanied with the Heavy, but again, not always together. Now we have the bow tie with the Starscream combination. Bow ties usually will pair with Star Screams. And one of my favorites is the Horizon. Those look sharp. And here we have Aftershock Wings, which are attached to Star Screams. These look very similar to the Shock Waves, only these are completely flat. So if you look at the Aftershocks, flat, and then the Shock Wave has a little angle to it. Alright, last we've got Thruster Styles. There's only three to choose from. While we're on this screen, we have the single thruster. And from here, we have the box thruster. And lastly, we have the triple thruster. Hopefully, if you're on the coordinate exchange or talking to somebody about your favorite style of fighter, you can accurately describe it without having to say, uh, it's that like disc thing with the with the robot poking out. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the fighter guide and be on the lookout for my other guides coming up. Thanks so much for watching, guys. This is Taylor with Whiskey Barrel Gaming. Have an S-class day, everybody.